Keeping up with vehicle maintenance can be difficult, especially if you're responsible for more than one car. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate Tractor, a self-hosted comprehensive vehicle management tracking system. It can organize everything from maintenance records, insurance, documentation, and even calculate fuel consumption. This video was voted on over the weekend on the Servers at Home Discord. If you'd like to cast your vote, make sure you join the server. If you have not, there is an invite in the video description below. I'm your host, Evan. Let's get started. Go to my datasets and go to my configs dataset. And in the top right, click the blue button to add a dataset. I'm going to call this tractor. And I'm going to leave the dataset preset as generic and click save. When the warning comes up, go ahead and click return the pool list. In the bottom right where it says permissions, click on the edit button and change the group to apps. Now give the group read, write, and execute permission by clicking that middle checkbox and uncheck the two boxes on the line for other. Go ahead and check the apply group checkbox and then click save. Now let's deploy our container. Jump over to the wiki and in the top search bar, look for tractor. Click the result. In section one, deploy tractor, go ahead and copy the entire Docker YAML. Jump over to your Dockage interface and in the top left, click the plus button to add a new stack. Let's call this tractor. Remove all the placeholder information on the right and paste the Docker Compose file. You are going to have to change the core's origin line. In my case, I've put in the IP address of my TrueNAS server. Go ahead and change this to your TrueNAS server. Click Deploy. Once it's running, click the 3333 pill to launch the web UI. You'll be prompted to log in with a pin, which is 123456. And in case you forget this, you can find it on the wiki. I have chose to seed this with some test data to show you guys its functionality. Our test data includes two cars, an Audi Escalade and a BYD1. Right now, the Audi Escalade is highlighted and you can see in the overview the mileage over time and the cost over time. If I click the second vehicle, we'll see the graphs change to respect the information entered for that one. Let's stay looking at the Audi. On the second tab, I can look at fuel logs and see where the test data has entered all the fuel information and there are five pages of it so I can keep clicking through or add more rows per page. I could also customize the layout by selecting which columns I want. In the maintenance section, we can see one entry has been made for maintenance and I can go ahead and add more maintenance sections if I want. Insurance has been added and there is a pollution certificate. As you will start to notice in this interface, things are in kilometers and this pollution certificate probably doesn't make sense for many Americans. But if you're watching this video and you're overseas, this probably makes a lot of sense to you. I could add logs by using these buttons down here and I can add things like insurance and pollution status if I want to. Let's go ahead and click the gas tank here and we'll see on the right side, I get the slide out. It allows me to add a date, add an odometer reading, add the volume of fuel that I've added and the cost and it'll automatically add that to my fuel logs. I can add a maintenance record by clicking the wrench and again, selecting a date and odometer reading, telling it which service center I've used, adding a cost and adding some notes. By clicking the little shield, I get the option to add or change the insurance and by clicking the purple icon with the check mark, I can add a pollution certificate. I can also edit this vehicle by clicking the pencil, changing anything I want on it, and adding an image. If you are living in America, we can make this just a little bit more normal for what you're used to seeing. Go to the top right to your settings, change your time zones and one that makes sense for you. I'm going to leave the currency as US dollar, change the unit of distance to miles, and change the volume to gallon. Let's update settings. And now we can see something that looks a little bit more normal to the American eye. That pretty much summarizes Tractor. It's a very simple interface that does something very well. And if you have multiple vehicles or just want to track this data over time and be able to keep track of your own maintenance schedules, this app absolutely does it. Let me know in the comments below if you're keeping track of your own vehicle, if you're doing your own maintenance, or if you just want to keep backup records. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get updates every single time we release a video on all kinds of new cool apps. If you want to have a longer conversation about this, please jump on the Discord server. We can have a proper conversation. And as always, stay curious.